my favorite thing about coming to camp is seeing all my friends. Um, you know, you grow up uh, with these guys and it's a tight knit community. It's a small community, um, but we're all really close and we love hanging out with each other. Team USA in this quad has just grown exponentially and we have developed a bond that is, you can't put it in words how special it is. The environment when we come to these comp or these camps is just so energetic and we're all motivating each other. Everyone just wants everyone to get better and better. Camps are more than just gymnastics. It's keeping those relationships, you know, talking about topics that aren't gymnastics with the guys. So it's just good to get everyone together. I think it's a rare opportunity where we're all pretty relaxed. You know, I think for most of the year, especially the NCAA guys, we're gunning for each other. You know, we're, we all have our teams at home that we love just as much as um, just as much as another guy. Going through the NCAA program, I mean, it's not like we're enemies. Gymnastics is a very close-knit community and we have a lot of respect for each other because, I mean, it's probably the hardest sport in the world um, and no one knows what you're going through more than someone who's doing it right there with you. And I think it's really fun to make that switch of First, they were their competitor, they're now my teammate. But it's kind of cool because for them to be your competitor, you have to respect them. They have to be very skilled. And so it's very easy to switch to teammate when it's like that person who is on your level and pushing you, now they get to help you. So I think it's pretty easy, especially when you've grown up with them, but it's fun to make the switch, honestly. At the end of the day, I tell them, you know, look at what you're wearing on your chest. Um, it's USA. And if you go to Michigan, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Air Force, it doesn't matter, they're all in the United States, so at the end of the day, think of this as a super college team. The second that that NCAA uniform changes into a Team USA one, the goal is now getting Team USA on the podium. I am one of the older guys. I do have a little bit more experience than some of the guys on the team. Um, so anytime I can offer, you know, words of wisdom or advice to some of the younger guys, like I make sure that they know that I'm an open book. I think one of my favorite things to do if I'm not doing gymnastics is just to cheer and uh, you know, be a helping hand wherever I can. My job is just to make sure that everyone realizes that we do this thing every day, we do this, this sport every single day, and uh, sometimes it's just in a new location, new arena, and, uh, but other than that, it's the same equipment and just trying to you know, bring that calming aura to, to, the, uh, to the team. I feel as though I'm a pretty high energy guy. I like to keep the Keep the energy light and fun, you know, if someone falls, you know, I'm there to pick you up, but also to make sure you know that it's okay, we, we can move on to the next. I think I can be a jack of all trades. I think I can be the energy pursuer when I need to be. I can be the, um, the energy giver. I can be the battery. I can be the last guy to go. I can be the first guy to go. I can be the guy in the middle. I can be the guy that's really quiet. I can be the guy that's really loud. I think um, I like to be whatever the team needs me to be in that moment. Yes, I am the older guy, but I think for me, it's it's making sure that everyone feels a part of the team, no matter if it's your first year onto the national team or your last year. You know, I, I think my job is to really get everyone connected and make sure, even though I'm the old guy, um, really show that I can be a young guy too. If maybe your role isn't, you know, on the equipment, you can definitely have a role off the equipment and just like being a support system for one of the guys or anyone really is one of my favorite um, things to do. Personality wise, I find that I click in really well with all the guys here. We kick back on the on the floor while we're stretching, just make jokes and laugh the whole time. Um, we're all just brothers. I mean, this current, the current national team is super special. We have, uh, you know, I, I would say we have a pretty good spread of you know, older guys that, you know, kind of have the experience and then the young guys who are coming up through NCAA. Um, you look around at the NCAA champions, all the Nissan Emery Award winners all on this national team. It's, I think this is probably the most talented national team I've ever been on. Um, like on every apparatus, people are just so good, like top in the world level good. And it's so motivating just be in this environment. Since day one, we've been striving for not just to get on the podium, but also to give USA Gymnastics the recognition that we need to keep the sport alive. I think it started with COVID, all these teams getting cut from collegiate gymnastics, and then, you know, it became bigger than ourselves. And that has carried through this whole quad. 
I think we're young and hungry, and I think we are the new generation. We are very deep in terms of talent, athleticism, and experience. I think over the quad, we've built up a lot of experience, and we're really peaking at the right moment, I feel. There's a lot of camaraderie in the sense that like we are all pushing for the same exact goal. Everyone wants to get on the podium. Everyone wants to primarily bring respect back to gymnastics. I think um, growing the sport is at the forefront of everyone's concern. We all have this drive to be successful, to be on the podium, to chase for Olympic team gold medal. And I think you can see it from the younger guys to even the older guys and the guys coming up into the national team. Um, it's really, we all have this one thing and it's just put the team first, let's, let's make men's gymnastics successful. Again.